going to talk to you about um, our flagship product. Um, this is something we've been working on for years, and uh, we're finally reaching a stage where we see that we can we can really make a big change uh, in the crypto space. Uh, I'll get into that. Uh, first, I want to introduce uh, uh, Chief Technology Officer James Tandy. He's going to join me in this presentation. Uh, please give a hand to James. And, uh, and uh, COO Ivar Dusseru. Um, please uh, welcome up on the stage. Yeah. So I'm going to start out uh, by talking a little bit about crypto, about Bitcoin. That's why we're here. Uh, this is a crypto conference, and we've seen this is the third time we're doing it, and we see that every year things are changing. Uh, when we got into this space, it was very, very difficult to use uh, blockchain uh, products, Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies. It was basically just for the uh, technologically proficient uh, people and people who are very, very interested in ideologically. Uh, so. For many years, it's been extremely difficult to use Bitcoin securely and uh, and safely. As I'm sure, like even even for us who's been in this space for some time, and uh, and no programming and no computers, been doing this all our lives, it's still a hassle, right? To secure your coins. Where did you put those private keys? Or ah, oh, what happened to my account? Was it hacked? Like. There's so many, many dangers in the crypto space, and uh, it's very difficult for the mainstream user to get into it. And that's what I'm going to talk about, uh, the mainstream. Uh, and that's where we are aiming uh, BitGate to finally bring Bitcoin and crypto into the mainstream. Um, people are used to logging in, or it's at least in Scandinavia, Norway, Denmark, Finland, people are used to, uh, Norway, <laughs> Sweden, Denmark, sorry, Sweden. Um, people are used to, uh, to uh, logging in with a digital ID, which is a, a very simple system. You just log in and they have all your info, all the KYC, the bank knows who you are. And uh, that's the, the experience that people have when they use their day-to-day -day, uh, banking applications, um, payment applications. and. Uh, uh, that's, uh, okay, I think you need to adjust plus five minutes on that. We have 15. Whoever is in charge of that counter there. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's very challenging. And for people who have tried to use Bitcoin, uh, who are not proficient with it, it's kind of a wall. Uh, how do you get onto this exchange? Uh, and uh, you have to scan your passport and you have to prove where you live and there's a lot of hassle and it can take up to a week uh, or even more if they're very busy. So um, it's like the onboarding and getting started with Bitcoin is difficult uh, and, and with crypto. Um, and there's uh, the other thing, like where do you pay with Bitcoin? What do you use it for? Uh, the people who are already in this space, we like Bitcoin, we use it. Uh, when I say Bitcoin, I mean Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, all the, the big cryptocurrencies that people use. Uh, we can use them to transact between each other. But uh, if you're going to reach the mainstream audience, then how do you break down that barrier? Because you need to get adoption first before it has value. But if it doesn't have value, then how do you get the users? So there's this, this chasm uh, between the innovators and the very, very early, early uh, adopters until the early adopters and the early majority. And uh, that's, uh, that's what we're targeting with BitGate. Um, how do you build this bridge? Um, we, we have highlighted uh, the features of our application. Um, you can transfer it like you would uh, on VIPs, for example, uh, phone to phone payments. That will also work across borders. Uh, so uh, Sweden uh, and Norway is already up and running, and uh, it's possible to to uh, transact between those countries using phone numbers. And you can also do that to people who are not 
uh, customers of BitGaze from before. So that's a way that we plan to, 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 to go to market to spread the, the application. Um, we can go get more into it. If, if you want to know more about uh, the whole business model, uh, you can also come and visit us at our, uh, our stand. And uh, James is also going to get more into the, the technicalities and also uh, show a little bit. Uh, so buying and selling instantly, instant onboarding. You just use your bank ID and poof, you're a BitGate customer. Uh, and you, all, all you need is your, your, uh, your phone. So um, I think I'm just going to pass it over to James now. Uh, I'm tempted to go into to your segment here, but uh, I'll leave that to James. So thanks. OK. So as Manuel stole, frankly, most of my talking points, <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with bank ID. Bank ID in Europe is incredibly common. Just a single, sometimes a little dongle, normally on your uh, mobile device, where you can log in, do your banking, you can do everything from legal documents, you can buy a house using it. So in these countries in Europe, KYC is really not actually a problem, but this solution hasn't really been applied to the crypto space. So currently, the countries shown here in light blue have digital ID systems, and the other countries are following fast behind. So using these public ID services, we can have a user log in to BitGate, and KYC is complete. There is no waiting. It's instant. It is certified by your country's government. So in BitGate, we have various partners and services. Cephalo, which I will return to, Signacat, who is the provider of these digital ID systems. And because we're using a provider such as Signacat, for us, it's one line of code to literally expand to another country. Chainalysis, we're using for fraud protection and general security in the crypto space. And we're using BitGo for custodial services, like many of the large exchanges. So Manuel touched on some of the points. Instant onboarding. The second a user logs in, KYC is done. We're supporting both major mobile devices up front. But of course, we're designing everything against a very robust API. I mean, as a front-end developer, I hate to say this, and most front-end developers won't like me saying this, but the money's in the back end. That's where the product is, and especially in crypto when it's all about security. We're doing a two-layered data storage, so we're basing all of the transactions on blockchain and everything that everyone here enjoys. But we're also doing traditional services on top of this, which does enable the next point, instant transfers between users of our system. And as Manuel touched upon, you can send crypto to anybody with just an SMS. They don't need to have the app. They will receive the SMS. They'll have a link to download the app. They'll be able to access the crypto that you sent them. And we'll have a general time on this. So if someone hasn't claimed their crypto in a few weeks, it can be returned to you. And of course, secure custody of digital assets, which is a massive conversation that's not really the place for here, but a combination of BitGo and various other insurers and various other techniques that we are using to make sure that these assets are fundamentally more secure than the typical exchanges. Hopefully a video will play. Yes, so here is the BitGate app. This is a full live demo, but I have cut it to remove all of my personal information and my credit card details. <laughs> so this is the first page of BitGate. You choose your country, and then you log in with your country's bank ID solution or electronic ID. And that's it. A user is onboarded. That's all it takes. This is my account. I've sent and received some Bitcoin already. But what we're going to show here is purchasing Bitcoin. So we type in how much we want to buy. And once again, we go through a bank ID process. And then the credit card details, which I've modified for reasons. And that's it. That's possibly the fastest anyone's ever bought Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> and
And just to show that it's real, I'll open it in the block explorer so you can actually see the transaction. There it is. So what is BitGate trying to be? We've pivoted back and forth with the rest of this industry, but starting right now as a secure custodial service with a gateway to having access to the various cryptos that we want people to have access to. Well, all of them, not the ones we want, the good ones. So we're obviously starting with Bitcoin. That's where our test is. We'll be adding new coins as we go, as frankly, as fast as we can. And this is the current competitive landscape. And we have more dots than the others. So there. <laughs> <laughs> so instant onboarding, send to phone number, instantaneous global transfers, uh, digital asset custody, blockchain payments, and buying and selling of digital assets. So that's our product, digital wallet built for everyone. And I'll pass you over to our COO, who has some remarks to finish off. Thank you. So to wrap up this uh, presentation, uh, I really got to say it's been a truly great ride, having been involved in uh, making this app from the very beginning. And I know too that a lot of our uh, earliest shareholders are in this room today. And it's uh, very exciting to be where we are now in the launching phase of our product. And um, again, if you are interested in trying out our uh, beta product, please go to bitgate.no and, uh, and sign up. Um, we have recently opened uh, a new funding round in order to accelerate our, uh, our expansion into uh, the rest of Europe. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, you can find more information on our websites. Uh, our uh, our uh, email addresses are on the screen. And we also have a stand uh, right next door. So please come over and uh, talk to us if you have any questions.